steady state with peaks up to uh, about six megawatts. This operates at full capacity at 53,000 CFM, so that's about one air exchange in this room per minute. Uh, what that allows us to do is things like this wind tunnel, where we can have a fire inside the building, inside this laboratory, and you can stand exactly where you are to witness it. Um, we can do things like the wind tunnel. We can also build two-story structures. Uh, last summer, we were uh, sponsored by FEMA doing a, a project on green buildings and their impact on structural stability with uh, particular focus on, on firefighter tactics. Um, we've also done subway cars. We can do ASTM E119 furnace tests. We can do an FPA 285, 286 tests. We can do ISO 9705. We really have a wide, uh, a wide range of things that we can do in here simply because this is just a testing space. Whatever you build in this space here, we can test. We can do ordinary combustibles. We can do liquid fuels. Uh, just two or three years ago, Professor Romwala was doing his studies on uh, in-situ burning for oil remediation in the Arctic. So we shipped in 3,000 pounds of ice and actually created ice cavities where we then burnt crude oil to understand its interaction with ice flow. Um, as I said before, we've, we've done subway cars. Uh, we also have the ability to do propane fed systems. So we can feed up to six megawatts of propane. We can also feed it with natural gas. We can go up to one megawatt of natural gas. So really, this laboratory was designed to be almost infinitely versatile. So what we can do is we have a prep space over here where you build your apparatus, you can roll it under, and you can test. Uh, after the demo, if you walk around, you'll see there are multiple different fixtures throughout the laboratory. And those are just some of the things that we've been doing in the last two years. Uh, as projects come up, new apparatus are built, such as this uh, wind tunnel behind me. So with that, uh, we are going to now do a, uh, a demo. But before we do that, I just want to go over a little bit of safety. Uh, so everyone should be wearing their safety glasses. Uh, that's, that's just uh, good, good practices in a, in a laboratory in general. Um, in the case of an emergency where we had to evacuate, the path of egress is right back out the way that you came. If that were blocked, we'd have other means of egress, but uh, that should not be the case. Uh, we have these cones set out for you to stay behind, but if you want, you can get up tight to them. We just ask that you not block uh, Giovanni's camera, which really should not be an issue. Um, do you have anything you want to add to? Unless anyone has any questions. But I guess actually, uh, if anyone wants to get up close to see the, the fuel bed before we start, now would be the time uh, to do that. Just I can turn the fans on too. Yeah, actually, that's probably a good idea. Do a little show and tell.